All right, so we're back doing this. We're doing the gem one now. Um, I've just got to beat them within the time limit. Not too bad. That's it. We got another gem. Very easy. Very, very easy. I want to get nowhere near that fucking tank minigame again because my memory served me well. It was fucking awful. These might not be so bad, right? Like, they'll be bad. Getting all these more things, they'll be bad. But what's making me feel okay about it is that I only need to win once. I only need to win once. That ain't too bad. But I don't know how hard they're going to make it for me. So what's the, the crystal one? Avoid the energy bolts as they will knock you across the ice. Right, does that do it for everybody? Because if it does it for everybody, that ain't, that ain't awful. I swear that thing's aiming for me. I swear it was aiming for me. It just kept fucking following me around. Oh no. I need that back. I need it back. Give it to me, Koala Cock. All right. All right. We got this. Get the fuck away from me. There we go. I swear that thing had like a fucking gravitational pull on me. Right, that's has got two gems and two crystals. I only need one more crystal. But I need another like, four gems. I don't know if I could be bothered. This is why I never fucking beat this game. Because you basically have to go for the 100% completion. Like, almost. I bet some of these challenges are absolute garbage as well. Alright, this one doesn't sound too bad. Win by being the first to decrease your score to zero in the allotted time. That seems all right. Oh, I've got 80 points! Yeah, easy peasy. We move on. Do we want another gem? We're going to go for the crystal now. All right, so the crystal challenge is just win the game, but without touching poisonous mushrooms. That doesn't seem too bad. Basically, just avoid the poisonous mushrooms. I can't see, and that's not a good thing. How the fuck is Ria Roo, or whatever the bitch's name is, got so many points? I can't get any boxes! Bullshit. Every fucking box spawned nowhere near me. What?! What happened?! I was five seconds away from winning the fucking challenge. All of a sudden, fail. I didn't do anything fucking wrong. All around me are familiar faces. The truth of this game is, you really do not want to be anywhere near the top of the screen. I don't care if a good shit spawns up there. You do not want to be anywhere near the top of the screen. Because so much fucking shit just gets in your way. You just want to avoid it like the fucking plague. You want to wait down here until things spawn for you. Bullshit. That was my fucking fault as well. Right, we just need to survive... For seven seconds. I don't see them catching up to me now. Yes! That was way harder than it should have been. Only because of the fucking garbage I had to deal with. Losing for no reason. Mushrooms that spawned right where I was standing. You know, it's never my fault. Right, we're going to Jungle Bash now. We're going for the gem. Oh, man, here I thought, ooh, really quick and easy recording session. We managed to co complete an entire warp floor very, very quickly, very successfully. Uh -uh. You have to play all these shit fucking crap games just to get gems and crystals and bullshit like that. Win by defeating the other players. In it. So I've got 45 seconds to win. Right, that's fine. It's fine. As long as I'm not at some, like, serious disadvantage, then we good. Very easy. Very, very easy. Uh, I'm just going to do the crystal one for this. And it just means I never need to come to this warp room again. I don't need a fourth crystal right now. But, well, I'm going to need one eventually. Because I'm going to have to do all this crap regardless. 
uh, just to get to the next warp room when that eventually comes around. So let's just do it. Let's just try and get this crystal. And it means that warp room one is just finished. We do never need to come back here again. So all it says for the crystal challenge is beware the idol's wrath. Again, like, if this is something that harms not only me, but the other players, that's not too bad. If it's if it's at least fair, I don't really mind. Oh my lord. Ugh. Did you see what happened there? I, I don't care what happened there. Some fucking nitro crate just came flying. I know what the, the idol's wrath is now. Oh yeah, the animation for the, the Nitro didn't even play. Oh yeah, and I'm the first fucker out again. I swear. Avoid the Idol's Wrath. Yeah, it just aims for me. Great, thanks. What a fair game. It does as well. It just aims for me. There's no point. There's no fucking point in me trying to knock out the other guys. Because that thing just aims for me. I can't concentrate on trying to pick up boxes, aim it at dickheads, while this fucker just keeps on tossing nitro boxes at me all the time. So I might as well just try and avoid that thing. Immediately I go against my own advice. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck off! I can't get out corners! Gimme the Wampa, gimme the Wampa! I need all the Wampa fruits! Bullshit! Look at him, he's one big fucking tooth in his mouth! Oh, I hate him! Man! Do you know what makes it even fucking worse? It's the fact that these Nitro crates take off so much health they honestly deplete your fucking arse god damn i feel like i did really well in that stage then all of a sudden i get hit by like two nitro crates and all of a sudden my health had just fucking deserted me oh yeah Oh, just chalk this one down as a loss. Oh my god. We're so close. No! Yes! There's we said, I chalked this one down to a loss. Never fucking give up when you're me. Oh god. It's driving me to insanity. We've done it. We've managed to get every fucking item from Warp Room 1. God damn, I'm saving the game really quick. Not done for today yet, but we're saving now. Alright, we're back on this one. And it seems to be the same as the last time. Where I've got to defend my goal with the odds against me. Like, with minus 6 points. Oh, man, it's so bad. Uh, and I don't like this this stage anyway because they can magnetize the balls to them but uh, yeah once again i'm just gonna try and go on the defensive and just kind of hope that a couple of them get knocked out without me having too much damage done to myself damn it right i'm not actually too annoyed to lose that time um we were doing really really badly somehow um we managed to come into it a little bit but yeah, not a very good attempt, that one. Oh. That was a really poor attempt. Really, really poor. Oh, this one may be harder than the last one. Right, so it's the complete opposite to the last gem version of this. Uh, whereas, I kind of need to get Brio out as quick as possible. Like, he's not the only real danger to me. Uh, but when he stacks up those balls, like he's doing now, it just makes it really, really tough. Because I'm trying to concentrate on what's flying at me, and then all of a sudden, he just, like, shoots his load at me. So I need to be really, really careful. 
But uh, yeah, I think Embryo is the guy we need to try and get rid of ASAP. But also doesn't help because like those other two can like grab balls and like the side of their cart and hit a really nasty diagonal at me. Look at this. It's going to probably lead to some dodginess. Oh my god! Oh my god! They were all just collecting balls so they could just like consecutively hit me with one after the other. You know, there's like a one fucking two shot, then there was whatever the hell that was. Shut up! I think for me to win this one, I think the strategy really, really does have to be play on the defensive and just hope to fuck I get real lucky. Koala Cox out. Somehow survive that shit. It's just me and big belly, big bastard bollocks. I think I know who's gonna win. Oh god. Oh no! Oh, it's gone down to the fucking wire here. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! He was too fucking busy collecting balls that he just didn't even fucking realise one snuck right by him. Oh, yeah. Uh, I really don't want to have to play another pogo level today. Let's just do the tilt one and just hope for the damn best. Right, same as before. Just got to win. And uh, the time limit provided... Unfortunately, the time limit provided is only 30 seconds, so I need a quick, clean win. That shouldn't be much of a problem. I only need to win once. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, we do really need to be on the most aggressive form that we can be, because we just need to get them out. Jesus, we all just fucking go at the one time. Why can't it just be me being the lone survivor in that situation? Just survive. Let him get shocked. And we've won. There we go, as easy as that. Yeah, Crash. Alright, here we go. Bear Minator. Mechanical bears. Yeah, how hard can it be? Defeat the polar bear boss and his army of mechanical bears. Alright. Oh no, I'm on a polar bear too. I can't get rid of it. There we go. Ooh, a missile. No. Oh my god. Not really a direct hit on him there, but. You know, oh my shitting lord. Let me guess, if I fall off once, I'm dead meat. That's it. Very well played by me. Direct hit, right in the schnoz. And now we lose another little bit of our playing field. Just depends where they get spawned onto. Oh my god, I'm stuck! I can't move! Oh, I get stuck. I couldn't move. And we did manage to avoid all of the rockets. But we just went right into the drink. I think... The way to win against the rockets is just by sound. Try and sound out when they're going to fire, fire, fire. And then we may be able to just kind of dash out the way. And I just kind of hope for the best. Oh no, I, I got... I got hit. I got hit. 
Oh, and it's like a fucking pack of wild dogs. They'll pounce on you at once. This one's real easy. You get such a huge playing field. And, like, the... The polar bear. Like, there's just one. So it's easy to avoid. Like, if only had this size of playing field when there was three of them. I don't think I'd actually find this very difficult at all. Right, here we go. We're going for it again. Yep, you take away a bit more of my playing field. If they could just be all up at that far end. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what? How did that happen? Alright, that's it. We're doing it this time. Sick to fucking death of this now. You know what I've noticed as well? They all fire rockets at different times. Like, just slightly different timings on them. Which makes it, like, that little bit more frustrating to try and avoid. Now, see if it puts them all up at the far end. I might not be that bad. That's not a good position. I'll get hit. Come on, survive it. Survive it. Come on, Crash. No! This fucking sucks. Oh, my God. Go away. Keeps hanging on by the fucking hair of his arse. Nearly missed him as well. No. I don't know how to avoid it. It's, it, it's so fucking hard. It's so hard to avoid it. There's hardly any fucking space to try and dash out of the way without falling right into the fucking sea. Oh my god, and I've even been taken out by that one. My head's gone. My head's absolutely gone. Right, here we go again. Will I survive this time? What the fuck? I don't know what happened there. Oh my god. Oh my god. We did it. We did it because there was some glitch. I don't know what happened there. For some reason, one of them just died immediately. Well, I am unsure of how to take that. But, we did manage to beat Bearaminator. So, we're going to go up to Warp Room 3 now. Let's have a little look at what we've got in store for us next time. Probably some more really frustrating levels, I would imagine. Embolism. Sounds fun. Um... I, I can't even tell what it's going to be. Uh, Melt Panic. El Pogo Loco. Well, we know what that's going to be. Snowbash. Metal Fox. Sounds like another really crap tank game. Dot Dash. So it looks like there's another new game type. I don't remember Dot Dash. Looks like it's going to be a racing game. Ugh. And uh, the boss for this stage is Big Bad Fox. Alright, so we're going to give the game a good old save right there because I'm a hell wanting to do any of that again. So that's going to do it for this installment of Crash Bash. Uh, I really hated my time playing this. Um, I think we're probably at an anger level of about four and a half out of five now, so... Oh no, um, probably next time you see me, I'm going to have zero hair left and no voice left. <laughs>